despite controlling the ball for most of the game. F. Marinos trailed early and were thwarted by Saud defending, poor luck in front of goal and a couple of calls that did not go their way. Terahito Nakagla were finally equalised in the 69th minute, and Marcos Jr. put the hosts ahead 13 minutes later, I'm glad to have scored. We needed hard work and belief in ourselves, and that provided me with the one chance I was able to convert. Marcos Jr. said. Left-back Koki Anzai broke the ice in the 11th minute against the run of play after Kashima's Leo Silva dispossessed a Marino's defender who was simply being careless with the ball in midfield. With midfielder Raihei Shirasaki looking for a target on the left, Anzai sprinted past the lone defender guarding his teammate. Shirasaki's through pass was on the money and Anzai struck his shot hard on the ground past keeper Park Il Giyu. After a first half in which maintaining most of the possession and taking most of the shots added up to zero on the scoreboard, the hosts continued their relentless attack after the break. In a microcosm of play so far, Antler's keeper Quinn Sante caught a close-range shot but fumbled it back to an F. Marino's attacker, who then missed from point-blank range. Antler's defence responded well to the constant pressure but were fortunate F. Marinos were not awarded a 50-second minute penalty kick after a collision in front of the visitors' goal. Yokohama's persistence finally paid off when a closely marked Nakagla was somehow launched a shot under pressure that got past a defender and rattled the net. The hosts were again deprived when they were awarded a corner kick after a 70-second minute shot caromed off the arm of a Kashima defender. Marcos Jr. put Yokohama ahead when he ran onto a long ball down the right, beat his marker and tapped in between Kuhn and the near post. They scored a goal, but I thought we were playing well. Marino's manager Ange Postico Glue said. We were great at creating chances in the first half, and I knew if we kept playing a football we would be rewarded. At Yatek Stadium, Shun Nagasawa scored the winner in second half stoppage time as Vigal to send I beat. Gamba Osaka 2-1, Diego Oliveira scored his seventh goal of the season, keeping him even with Consad Els Anderson Lopes at the top of the scoring leaders table in unbeaten FC Tokyo's 2-0 win over promoted Matsumoto Yamaga. Vissel Kobe lost its fourth straight, falling 2-1 at home to Kawasaki Frontail, the two-time defending league champion now unbeaten in five straight. Shonen Belmere won 2-0 last place Sagan Tosu. Anderson Lopes scored his seventh in Consado El Sapporo's 2-1 win at Jubilo Iwata, while Nagoya Grampus beat Sanfreki Hiroshima 1-0 to take over second place from them behind leaders FC Tokyo. Urawa Reds kept a clean sheet for the third straight game, beating Shimizu S Pulse 2-0. Latest soccer stries Messi leads Barca past Liverpool facing its toughest opponent of the season. Barcelona once again turned to Lionel Messi to move the team within one step of reaching its first Champions League final in four seasons. Emmys, woeful Tosu facing turmoil on and off pitch on's protest banners emerge behind the goal and applause turns to jeering following loss after loss. J. League clubs tend to draw from a limited arsenal in order to placate fans and turn things. Let's block ads. Why?